Good morning, everyone. My name is Father Kyle. Today in the Gospel, Jesus invites us through the use of two very short parables to go all in, in the kingdom of heaven, to give ourselves fully over to the Lord, to his word, and to his service. We hear two of these little stories. Uh, first of a man looking in a field, and he finds a great treasure. So he hides it once again, goes, sells all he has, buys the field, and has this great treasure. And in the second story, uh, a merchant is searching for fine pearls, and he finds one of great price. So he sells all he has and buys this one pearl. And maybe looking at these things first, you say, seems a little foolish to be doing that, uh, to just go all in on this one treasure or this one pearl. And in a certain way, it is. Uh, the world, the world, the culture sometimes tells us that we're not going to be just satisfied with one thing in life. We need to keep our options open. And think how easy it is just to finish one television series, and it's like, Okay, well, that was good. What's the next thing? Um, how much of society is moving from one thing to the next? Nothing's going to bring us just that full, perfect fulfillment. Except, as Jesus invites us today, the kingdom of God, growing closer to the Lord, our relationship with him, building the kingdom here on earth by serving others, giving ourselves over to the Lord. That's what's going to bring us full fulfillment and something worth going all in on. Something worth going all in on. In the first reading, uh, Prophet Jeremiah it gives us an example of this as well. He says, when I found your words, Lord, I devoured them. He found the words of God and said, this is something I need to go all in on. So he devoured them, uh, drew close to the Lord through his word. And so, too, these examples in the gospel of the man buying the field, the merchant buying this pearl, going all in for the Lord. Maybe just two aspects for us. First, there's an element of searching. We have a searching heart, a wandering heart. And we're looking for something to give ourselves fully to. And it turns out that what this is, is the Lord serving his kingdom, uh, hearing his word, hearing his truth, growing in a relationship with God, the kingdom of heaven, as Jesus says in the gospel. So it is something worth giving ourselves fully to. But it's something we first need to search for. That man's looking out in that field for something. The merchant is looking for the pearls. We too need to be lo looking for God. Secondly, right, it's something we give ourselves fully to. It's hard to do that in life because we want to keep our options open. We want to maybe hold back a little bit. Um, it's hard to give ourselves deeply to something because there's so many things in the world, so many things that divide our attention. But Jesus says this is the one thing, serving the Lord, drawing closer to him. The kingdom of heaven is what your heart is truly looking for. And it's not a treasure that's going to be exhausted, not something that we can use up or move on from. It's a profound treasure. It's full of depth and richness. And it's ultimately going to bring us eternal life and eternal satisfaction, something that will never run dry or never run short. So today, brothers and sisters, we give thanks to the Lord who gives us these hearts that are searching, hearts that are searching for the treasure that is the kingdom of heaven. May we too continue to so, uh, seek the Lord with sincere hearts. And when we find this treasure and grow in relationship with God and build his kingdom, may we give ourselves more and more fully to it, to go all in for the Lord and to acquire that treasure of great price. For indeed, loving and serving the Lord and being with him for all eternity, building his kingdom here on earth already, is the treasure that our hearts truly desire. God bless you. Have a great day.